Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Process Builder series. In this video, we'll discuss about introduction to Process Builder. Process Builder is tool provided by Salesforce for automating business processes without writing a single line of code. You can use Process Builder when you need to start an automated business process behind the scene. For example, on update of opportunity, you want to update some field of opportunity or any other related object, then in that case, you can use Process Builder. When does the Process Builder start? So, Process Builder will start when a record changes. So, inside record change, either record is created or when record is created or updated. So, at that time, you can launch your Process Builder. You can launch a Process Builder when a platform event message is received or when a process builder is invoked by another process builder okay what are the steps for creating process builder so first thing is you need to decide when should a process builder start so it is nothing but these three points whether uh, on record change whether on platform event or whether it's launched by another process right next is you need to select the object on which you need to create the process builder for example on update of opportunity you want to perform your actions so in that case you will select opportunity as object okay next is you need to define criteria for records to be met if action needs to be executed okay so you need to specify the criteria and if those criteria are satisfied by the record then only the actions needs to be executed okay now once criteria is satisfied you need to define the actions that needs to be executed and actions are of two types so we have immediate actions and we have scheduled actions immediate actions would execute as soon as the criteria for record is satisfied and scheduled actions you can schedule for particular time to be executed at okay uh, so whenever you select an actions for process builder so these are the available actions in process builder you can execute an apex method you can create a record then you can uh, select email alerts and launch a flow using process builder you can post to chatter uh, launch another process from one processes then you can uh, fire a quick action you can uh, send a custom notification submit a record for approvals and update particular record etc right now one thing to be noted is so once you have created your process builder and then activated it now if you want to make some changes in the actions or criteria you define so for that you need to clone the existing process builder which is activated and then make changes to the new version okay so you cannot make changes to the activated process builder right so let's go to the salesforce org and we will see the ui of process builder so in the setup we'll search for process builder So these are already existing processes in my org okay i'll click on new we'll specify name let's say predator demo and so you can see the process starts when you have these three available options when a record changes when a platform event message is received and when it's invoked by another process so for now we'll select a record changes and we'll click on save okay so will be the launch to the process UI. Now here, the first thing what you need to do is you need to select the object on which you want to run your process builder. Okay. So for now, let's say we select case object. So it will uh, just give us a warning that you already have an active process on case object, right? So if you want to merge, then you can make your changes on this process also. So for now, uh, we'll just keep it as it is. And uh, once you selected an object, you can see you have an option, start the process only when a record is created or when a record is created or edited, right? So if you select this one, so this process builder uh, the, will run this process only when a record is created. So particular this case record is created at that time. And if you select this one, so process builder will uh, execute this process only when uh, record is created or uh, when it's edited also right 
next you have this advanced option so in that uh, what it shows is allow process to evaluate record multiple times in a single save operation okay so uh, let's say a case got updated right and uh, a process will uh, this process also got executed and later in the uh, transaction so something else updated this record again so uh, should this process run again so for that we need to select this option so if you want this process to be executed again then we'll select yes otherwise we'll keep it as uh, unchecked okay you can also see the information here so when selected the process can evaluate same record up to six time in single save operation right so for example the record can be updated by flow process action apex trigger right so after that this will execute this process again so we don't want that so we will stop the recursion and we'll uncheck this okay we'll click on save next thing is you need to specify the criteria so uh, only when this criteria specified uh, is satisfied then only you can execute the actions okay so for criteria we need to specify the name first so let's say test for now and uh, you have three options here so uh, either you can specify conditions are met so for that you need to add conditions over here and specify the logic you can specify and logic or logic or customize the logic also right next thing is you can specify formula evaluates to true so if you click on this so you can create a formula and if this formula evaluates to true then only uh, this criteria is satisfied and actions will be executed corresponding to that criteria okay so we'll and uh, and the third one is no criteria just execute the action so whenever a case record is updated it will uh, always execute the actions associated to this criteria so because you didn't specify the criteria here right so for now we will select conditions are met we can select subject field over here so we'll select subject choose and here we'll specify contains string demo okay so if a subject of a case which is being updated or inserted has a string as demo then we will execute our actions okay we'll keep rest of the thing as this is and we'll save this okay next thing is we need to add actions corresponding to this criteria okay so one thing to be noted here is you can only see immediate actions and we discussed there are two types of actions immediate actions and scheduled actions so why we cannot see scheduled actions over here so this thing we'll discuss in next video okay so for now i'll click on add action and uh, so these are the available actions in processes so we can select either uh, apex execute create record email alerts etc right so for now we'll just select update records and we will select update case and here we have two options for uh, records to be updated either we can select a record related to case or we can select the case record that started your process okay so that means a record which we were updated so that record will be updated using this action so we'll select that only for now and we'll click on choose next thing is you can uh, specify criteria for updating records so either you can select this and you can specify the criteria and records satisfying this criteria so for those records only the actions would be executed okay so for now we'll just specify no criteria just update the records and here you need to specify new values for fields which you want to update okay so what we want to update is we want to let's say update status of case okay so we'll select status field and uh, type is pick list we'll select new value as working okay and we'll just save this action right so we have created a process on case object we have created a criteria and if this criteria is satisfied this action will be executed okay so let's activate our process for now we'll activate this and next we'll go to setup and we'll try to update case and see if our process is working correctly or not okay so we'll go to case we'll select this case and we'll click on edit so that we can update the subject of this case 
and we'll specify subject as demo world okay and we'll save this record we'll see whether the status of case is updated or not right so right now it is new we'll click on save you can see the status of case got updated to working why because it satisfied our process builder criteria and uh, because the subject was having this string demo right so this is how you can work on process builder and this was just introduction to process builder in coming videos we'll be seeing a lot about process builder okay so thank you for watching this if you have any questions you can add it in the comment section